WiMAX, 3G, 4G, LTE. What does it all mean? Ari Zoldin is the CEO of Quantum Networks, a worldwide company that specializes in building WiMAX infrastructure, and he's here to tell us all about it. Hey, Ari. How are you, Sally? I'm doing good. How are you? Great. Thank you. So, look, every place I look, I have LTE, I have Fios, I ha everybody's talking about all this stuff in geek speak. What is it all? All right, so it's very confusing. So just to break it down for everybody, what you have is you have WiMAX and you have long-term evolution, otherwise known as LTE. They're both considered 4G technologies. Wi-Fi is an advanced Wi-Fi. WiMAX is an advanced Wi-Fi, where long-term evolution is something that the carriers are backing, backing, which is against the cellular network. Okay. Carriers being phone companies for, exactly. for normal people. So the phone companies are using long term evolution or LTE, that's their 4G network. Exactly. And WiMAX, but Sprint is a phone company and they're using WiMAX. Right, so Sprint is using uh, WiMAX for now, but there is talk of them possibly moving over to long term evolution. Now, I guess importantly, WiMAX and LTE are not compatible. As of right now, they're not compatible, correct. Could they be? Uh, down the road, yeah, they can be. Wow, okay, what stops them or what prevents that from happening? I think there's a lot of the Phone manufacturers are working with the service providers and getting everybody in sync right now has been, uh, has been a big obstacle. So it's more of a business thing than a technical thing? Correct. Wow. Correct. That's, I, th I thought there were two different technologies and that the tuners wouldn't work together and you had to have a separate phone. Well, it's more of a standards related issue, right? So it's just getting everybody on the same page. Mm -hmm. But you can, in theory, go from WiMAX to LTE and from LTE to WiMAX. That's fantastic. So what's the future? We're having, um, I, we have, uh, I'm holding a Motorola Zoom in my hand. This thing is this latest, greatest, rock your house. It's 3G now. It's going to be 4G. It's going to be a lot faster. How much faster? Really, how much faster when it gets to be 4G? We, we think significantly faster. I mean, we're definitely going towards, I mean, we're seeing a complete digital shift right now where, you know, everybody's cutting the cord. Everything is wireless. Everybody wants premium broadband. They want faster access. Sure. So, I mean, there's only going to be a shift upward. But how much faster is it? So, so I've seen 6 to 10 times faster. I've seen 6 to 20 times faster. Yeah. What's, what's the real number? Yeah, so we're probably looking at between 15 and 20. I think would be the range. 15 to 20 times, times faster than correct. 3G. Correct. So that's better than actually sitting at your desk. It's amazing. I mean, it's, it's wireless fiber. So what happens when everybody wants to use it, when contention for all of that bandwidth is everyone in New York is going to want the same amount of bandwidth? Is there going to be enough? There's, right now, no, there's not enough. And I think the carriers are all a little bit, <coughs> the, all the carriers are a little bit nervous right now because there is congestion when you're dealing with backhaul because everybody's got, you know, the most popular apps. They're downloading video. They've got photos. So you've got to find backhaul for everybody. Backhaul is basically is taking the data from the end user back to the the towers. Okay. So you've got, you know, everybody out there basically downloading the most popular applications mm -hmm. and there's only, you know, there's a limited amount of pipe out there. What's the answer? Um, build. Build? Build, build and build. Infrastructure build out. And is there time for this? Um, I think it's in the process. I know the carriers are very nervous right now because they're all competing for, you know, the fastest network, the biggest network, the most expansive network. Um, but it comes, it really comes down to the back end and it's talking about really capacity. So. Fantastic. Ari Zolder from Quantum, thank you so much for shedding some light on probably the fastest growing topic of our digital age. Thank, thank you. you so very much. Appreciate it. I'm Shelley Palmer, and you're watching Live Digital.